Hi everyone and a huge happy new year. Here we go, 2022. And we are about to launch the No One Left Behind campaign. Um, I'm very excited. So tomorrow I will launch the trailer uh, of some of the behind the scenes and what, in, what has gone into this collection. No One Left Behind is about embracing all women's inequalities and diversities and promoting all women are beautiful. These images, uh, videos are a part of a collaborative series um, of everyday women, um, except I don't think these guys are everyday. I think they're actually quite extraordinary. However, these images will help to inspire other women to be themselves. And also, I want women to look at these and go, you know what? If you can do this, then so can I. Why not? Because in this society, it's so easy to put people in a box. Oh, you know, you're aging, oh, you're overweight, and you're this. And then there's all these sort of stereotypes that come with it. But with the box, there also comes the label. And it's just so easy to do that. And when there's labels, there becomes limitations. We start putting limitations on ourselves, which is, mm -mm, no way, we're not doing that. No way. And I'm here to say that, well, I kind of want to unpack those limitations and what they mean. And so that we can never put those on ourselves. In fact, we're all, we've all been through something. We have all got a, a story. But we, we kind of want to turn that into something positive and use that as a strength. Um, I wanted to actually do this collection uh, years ago and I was always turned down. So I saved up quite a bit and I thought, you know what, if, if I want to do this, I'm going to have to self-fund this myself and thought, you know what, let's do this. This is, this is the time. So what I did was I've combined my own personal experiences with research at the university. Um, I've been studying anthropology and digital media. And then also I've merged that with my creative world. Um, and to do this, um, we can sort of look at where women's inequalities lie. We can encourage each other to talk about their stories, which will also advocate more solidarity towards each other. And it will help a better future for ourselves because you're going to say, you know what, if they're doing it, they've been through it, they've got, how did they do it? How did they get themselves? I might be able to use some of that from in my own circumstances. And one of the key issues that I'm really going to talk about is education. And even at this age, I never realized how and how strong education it can be incredibly powerful for us. Um, Pat, we, we need more women in education. We, we need to promote them and which would lead to more women in leadership. Um, in leadership, it's very lacking and that means that things could we could uh, change the ways that we can uh, through companies or organizations for a more sustainable future for women in leadership okay um and the biggest the biggest area is why we need more women in education is because it will help eliminate some of the sdg goals which is the sustainable development goals that the un set out and with this comes with poverty and hunger so that is on the women's side. So what we need to do is we need to have more women to educate, give them more op options, more career development, and also be able to raise their family and provide a better future for them. So we can kind of see that what I'm doing, this is all for, oh, hopefully, a better, a, a better outcome. I want to showcase that we don't have to be aggressive with our message. We don't have to be ranting down your throat to create change we can do this with beautiful images with compassion and empathy and solidarity 
by coming together a little bit more to help each other. And by doing that, then we're going to inspire others. It's, it's kind of a very simple plan, but this is my creative outtake, I guess, that I can create with other extraordinary people that I've known throughout the time and just taken a little snapshot of their life and what they've been through as well or going through and to go hey this is me and I'm okay with it um, so next week we're going to start with my first lady which is the wonderful Sarah um, she is going to she's just oh but well, they all are. They're just, just so beautiful. So I will be launching my trailer as of tomorrow and next week each image, which will be followed by videos and blogs and um, podcasts of all sorts of information about how to make change or think, you know, just little sort of food for thought sort of things that just to put in your mind and maybe look at as, as we progress throughout the year. And in March, I'm going to be launching a hairdresser's life. And what that means is that I'm going to be looking at making some cultural change within our industry. So we're going to really get down to the nuts and bolts of what's affecting our industry. I'm going to talk a lot about the digital economy and how that has affected our industry. And I'm hoping that that will make some sense into why um, we're finding it hard to find staff, why our wages haven't, haven't really gone anywhere. And then if we identify those key points, then our industry can have a more sustainable future. Are we ready? All right. I thought I'd just check in because there's going to be lots happening. I've got all new platforms that I kind of keep it separate. So if you want to be more involved, I'll be providing lots of links and everything. But hey, here is to a very surprising, I think, 2022. And if I can do anything for this year is to showcase some extraordinary people doing extraordinary things who whatever is going on are still doing it and i think that's really something to celebrate see you later bye